once you start paying attention to the environment around you you tend to see and hear more and more which makes you connected with nature wherever you are whether it's in a very busy city or it's in the mountains or it's in the desert or life is everywhere and it's just about learning to pay attention to the life all around you thank you again for joining us and celebrating this edition of the festival with us the recipient of the 2023 photo kathmandu award of excellence is mr sham chitrakal विभिन्न देश बड़ा आउने विभिन्न विधा का एक्सपर्ट हर फोटोग्राफी देखि लर्नलिजम देखि लाम कलेक्ट करने देखि ल्लांट्स देखि लैविक अन्न विभिन्न विधा का मानेस भेटने देखने बुझने सीक्ने मौका पाइ जिस अज थप ऊर्जा मिले धेरे कुछ सीक्ने मौका मिले को इंपोर्टेन्स बुझे मैं विशेष कर अब गाँव में फार्मर है स्थानीय मानसरसंग भिडियो कलेक्ट करते अब एकदम उन्को स्टोरी ने इंसपायर भाग अब ठैक्क यहाँ फोटो काठमंडू में हेन आज कस्तो वाओ टाइप को लगे क्या अब तैंक मैसेज अब मैं राम काम करते अ्लस गाँव को कुरा इन्फर्मेसन नलेज यहाँ को यूथर भो आर्टिस्टर भो है प्लस बच्चा हो बाल बालिका सुंदे एकदम खुशी लगे थे मैं प्लांट्स को अरा को एक्जिबिशन हे हमें जुन कि हे एकदम राम लगे थारू भाषा को एक्जिबिशन रहे देखे हम अब इंडिजिनियस भाषा इसी प्रिजर्व कर देख रहा धीरे राम लगे Photo Kathmandu is unique in that you see the work in the streets, you see the local community getting involved, you see the local community very much appreciating the work, uh, being exposed to the work, and I think that doesn't happen in many places. Not the way I've seen it here, you know. Um, I think it's unique in the terms that it, it involves very young people. You know, is is one of the few experiences. in that i've seen colleges or, or school children coming to the gallery space and it's wonderful that this happens and in that sense i think this festival is absolutely spot on i'm so happy it exists what it is meant to the photographic community is something i've actually physically observed myself over the years the quality of photography in nepal has gone up and up and it's certainly on the way right up now stories about nepal are not merely told by visiting western photographers but by nepalis themselves and i think that is the main strength of this festival as a photographer from sri lanka it's just really great to be able to see that there is this space regionally where there's so much kind of convergence in terms of thinking and ideas in terms of the direction of which like photo practice is going in and a lot of the stuff that we see is on the digital platform and i try as much as possible you know you follow people on instagram and you try and like read up on different journals but to be able to really meet and have this kind of intensive amount of time where everyone is together everyone's minds and your thinking is all kind of shared and in that space it just kind of creates this really really great momentum that you wish like it gives you energy that you can take back and like pushes your thinking in a lot of really new possible directions being in uh, in the festival and in Kathmandu has been a really good experience because there's been such an extensive program and it's really been a lot about meeting people i think about conversations but also for to Kathmandu made the whole pattern come to life i think
And so the fact that it's a lens-based festival, the fact that it's about how do you perceive something, how do you actually, from your standpoint, see the world, um, has really opened up the discussion about art education. Um, so a lot of the times when I want to have uh, a deeper engagement um, about uh, perspective taking and empathy, um, you know, I refer to a lot of the works that we've been doing in Photo Kathmandu. So it, for me, it's been life changing.